restarting, whether it's your current business or whether you're going to change careers completely, you have to be willing to start all over, like lose everything you have. You won't live in a nice house like that. You won't have a nice truck like that. You will start over in life. Welcome back, all you amazing, hardcore, working warriors. Another episode of Elite Landscapes, Life Stories. This is a property we just mowed. That's the footage you just watched. And uh, let me know in the comments today, the weeks that you cram a lot of work into a short period of time, are those the weeks that people just decide to come out and uh, talk, walk through properties, add on some more services for next week? Seems to be the case. <laughs> And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I rearranged my schedule throughout the seasons, throughout the weeks, to uh, make my life more enjoyable. Um, for example, the Memorial Day weekend we just had, we took a four and a half day break and squeezing our mowing route into three days. Three days, squeezing them. It's hectic, yeah, we'll work three 12 hour days, but we'll still make the same amount of money, we'll still get the same grass mowed, and more importantly, we got to spend time with our loved ones, our family, and we got to uh, kind of just relax after a long, hard four months of the spring season. So I'm not sure what else we'll get into talking about today. Uh, <laughs> so many things that you could talk about, right? But carry on with us. We got like 16, 17 properties to mow, and it's only the first one. Look how beautiful it is. It's amazing. Let's go. So I want to say something to everybody. Um, if you're not finding satisfaction in your current career, no matter what you're doing, try to find some kind of career that um, provides some kind of service that helps people, makes people smile, and that makes them happy to see you every time. Um, it makes life a lot better than having a career that happens to put people in jeopardy, whether it's financial or uh, <laughs> Yeah, plenty of careers out there taking advantage of people financially. Okay, I'll leave it at that. But if you're not happy right now in your current situation in this mowing gig, in your stage of landscaping, um, take a step back and reevaluate what you enjoy to do. And take a step back, look at your route, and see what the most profitable places are and how you can upgrade your services for those clients. Um, if you have to travel a little bit further than you anticipated to achieve higher clientele, by all means, get in your truck. That's why you have one. Drive to the higher end areas. Please. You don't have to stay close to home. 
It doesn't make you lose money. It's all up to you to work hard, price accordingly for your time invested. If people want perfection, they will pay for your time and efforts of perfection. If they're not too concerned about that, they'll find another service. The stripes behind me are not my stripes. They look good from here, but they're not mine. Okay? Plenty of quality people out here doing the same work that we are doing. And you have a budget that runs your business. You have to make a certain amount of money per hour, per day, per month, per year. If your clients can't reach your budget of your hourly rates, it's okay. There's other companies out there that can reach their budget needs. You can move on to the next client. Don't feel guilty. It's just the way it is. Let's mow some grass. I got three properties here. 80, 80, and 80. So we're here for a little while. A lot of best weed eat. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful place, but still a lot of work. Let's do it. So look, sometimes certain yards, certain properties, sometimes it's the height of the grass that you're mowing. Sometimes it's the wetness of the grass you're mowing. Sometimes it's just the environment you're in. Gets you in a snappy mood, right? We're all guilty of snapping at people. <laughs> And uh, I was just guilty, snapping at Dalton. And thank goodness, uh, you know, less than five seconds later, thinking about what I just did, uh, I stopped and I paused and said, hey, at the end of the day, it's just grass. It'll grow back. I really don't care that much. And um, sometimes I'm just an a-hole about certain things, okay? That's just the way it is. And uh, I apologize. And we kept on rolling. So I didn't get any footage of this property. It's just the grass was just out of control. And uh, yeah, so got way, way too many properties to even think about at this moment. <laughs> hey, life is good. Remember, hear no evil. Uh, excuse me, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. So a uh, quick tip for you guys, if you know you're gonna come back and be mowing the grass, go ahead and weed eat perfectly when you're out here mulching, okay? And then you're gonna come back later in the week, two days, three days, whatever your schedule is, and uh, this won't make a mess on fresh mulch. We did that for the whole property here.
All right. Well, I didn't know if I was going to come back and talk to you guys tonight or not. But um, 7 o'clock, I still got four properties left. So we're going to rock these out. And one of them is that steep, steep, steep hill that we just picked up that we did that video on. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. It's got me on the picture. Almost straight up and down. And we got two homes across the street from my house. And we got hit my house. So, hey, I, I, I knew that we were going to be running the gauntlet. And I enjoyed my four and a half days off. <laughs> That's for sure. So, stick around. We will talk when we get back to my house and uh, settle my life down a little bit. Warriors. <laughs> Obviously, it's the next day, right? <laughs> so the rundown of yesterday's footage that y'all just watched, we uh, we finished the entire list, which we had never done that many on the same day that we have. Uh, finished the day at 12 hours. And I knew when I made that schedule, we had a 12-hour day, 10-hour day, 10-hour day. Pretty sure is what I was thinking. So <sighs> we're back at it, all right? We're surviving the gauntlet. Um, and look, going back to restarting, whether it's your current business or whether you're going to change careers completely, you have to be willing to start all over, like lose everything you have. You won't live in a nice house like that. You won't have a nice truck like that. You will start over in life. And believe it or not. The almighty power of love, if you put the effort into life through love, through dedication, he'll make it happen for you, okay? Yeah, you gotta make some plans, you gotta take action, but you put in the action and love will give it to you. That being said, we're gonna mow today and I'm gonna start another video. So, um, hey, thank you guys for hanging out for this video. And as always, be good if you can, always be kind, and above all, love each other. Peace. Well, you landscape style. Look at that.
Yeah. <laughs>